there's not going to be a lot of structure to this video honestly quality wise this might be one of the worst videos i've ever made but that's fine you know why because it would be on brand it would be on brand for the topic of today today i wanted to talk about something totally different to be honest with you the next video i i just as of recording this i have just put out um my anime hot takes video um really appreciate the people that uh showed up for uh for that and also the people that will you know eventually watch the video and all that stuff point being something different was going to be the next video after that but i just felt it in my heart to make this one why because today i really just want to talk about the cowboys i really just want to rant about the cowboys sorry this is completely different from any other topic that we've ever had on this team or on this channel fuck i'm fucking up just as much as them this is very different this is a very different topic for this channel but god damn it if a lot of a lot of you know i'm i'm from dallas i i grew up in dallas i was born in dallas I, I, that it, it's my home. So of course I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. Been one for as long as I can remember. And for as long as I can remember, them niggas have been getting fucked on. Every damn postseason. Every damn postseason. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try really hard. Move some shit around. I'm going to try really hard not to not to yell too much into the mic this uh this video i'm gonna try really hard but i can't uh, headphone users be well be got dallas cowboy in me through and through i'm fucking up i've been a dallas cowboys fan for as long as i can remember and for as long as i remember these niggas have been getting fucked on in the postseason and sometimes in the regular season for as long as i can remember but every year I cheer them niggas on. I, I cheer them on with all my might, or at least I try. I try to keep hope. I try to keep faith. I try to make sure that my Dallas Cowboys know that I, I want to believe in them. I, I really do. I, I want, I, I want to cheer for the Cowboys. I want, I want to love the Cowboys. I want to love watching the Cowboys play, but fuck, they make it so hard. They make it so hard to watch them play, especially in the postseason. I, I let's let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. So the Cowboys finished this year eleven and six, I believe. Eleven and six, pretty damn good. It's about where the Cowboys always are every season. They do really, really good in the regular season, and everybody gets hyped for the postseason. And then we we get to the postseason and we get fucked on. And this time around, things felt a little different, at least to everybody else. It seems like I was taking the, I, you know, I was taking the pulse of, of the, uh, of the community. And it seemed like everything was a little different this year. Uh, Cowboys fans near and far, far and wide were feeling a little different about this year. Except for me. They get to the playoffs. And they just forget how to play football. And I'm recording this at halftime. Because i that's just how cooked we are. I'm recording this at halftime. We're down 27 to 7. And it, we should be down 27 to 0. We scored a touchdown at the last second. Before the half. And it should have been a pick. Now I won't re I won't rephrase I won't repeat everything that I said in my Discord uh, with some friends when when I started ranting about the Cowboys because what I said in that Discord frankly would have gotten me banned off YouTube. I was saying some foul shit about the Cowboys. I was that fucking angry. I'm still that fucking angry. 
because the thing is i i every year i'm just baffled i'm amazed at how at how much faith the cowboys fans have in this team and 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 i'm jealous i'm all, maybe that's what it is i'm jealous at how much faith they have because every year we're we're high-fiving we're 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 doing the worm on the ground we're we're spinning on our fucking heads we're just so happy at these bars just so excited for the cowboys to go to the playoffs so they can get violated that's what we do every fucking year. And it's gotten to the point to where I'm thinking that the city of Dallas is just that fucking insane. Because the definition of insanity is to do something over and over again, expecting different results. And that is the Dallas faithful to a fucking T. So yeah, we're getting fucked on right now. We're most likely going to lose. This. In fact, I'll tell you right now, halftime, we have already lost this game. We have already lost this game. Do I wish I, I was wrong about this? Yeah, but but I'm not. We have lost this game. So, so, so Darth, why, why are you so angry about it? It's just football. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's always next year. That's why I'm angry. Because there's always next year. I'm tired. I'm tired of cheering this fan, this this team on. It may be maybe there there's some Dallas Dallas Cowboys faithful that are like, well that guy's not not a real fan. If he's if he's tired of cheering them on, I I never get tired of sucking sucking the Cowboys dick. I I, I just love it They're all down my throat. Yes. Go for it, man. Go for it. I don't give a fuck. Because the thing is, there, there's only so much fuckery that you can take every year. Because now I have to hear every god, everywhere I go, everywhere I go on in real life, on Twitter, doesn't matter. Now everywhere I go, I have to fucking hear it. Oh, I see that the cowboy lost again. <laughs> that's that's what the fuck I have to hear. Every goddamn day I walk down the street or get on Twitter or any social media at all. That's what I got to hear. That's what frustrates me the most. If we were just a normal team, like if we were just the, the, the Cleveland Browns, you know, if we were the Bills, we were the Dolphins, you know, we, we wouldn't have to hear about it for real. We wouldn't have to hear about it for real. That's my problem. That's what frustrates me so much about being a Cowboys fan is that is that you that other fandoms will never understand what it feels like because as a Cowboys fan, you have to hear it all year. There is Miami got fucked on yesterday. Absolutely fucked on yesterday. You won't hear anything about Miami. Go ahead. Check Twitter right now. Check check Twitter right now. See how much you hear about Miami. Nothing. Yeah, yeah no. You don't hear anything, do you? Because they're just a normal team. Really good team. Don't get me wrong. Really good team. Coach is a genius. That coach is a, a genius. McDaniels is a genius. You still won't hear shit about Miami. Not for real. Not for real. You know who they'll be talking about for the next six months? Plus. The Cowboys. Jordan Love could take this game, win it, and then take it all the way to the to the Super Bowl and win that. You know who you're going to hear about? The Cowboys. Oh, yeah. You guys remember when the Cowboys, you know, they, you know, it's real crazy that Jordan Love won the Super Bowl. But you know how he got there? He beat the Cowboys. That's what we're going to have to hear. That's the frustration of being a Cowboys fan. In fact, there's a tweet. And I really want to read this tweet because it, it, it's such a good tweet. It, it's probably the best Cowboys tweet I've ever heard in my, I've ever seen in my life. 
Nobody hates the Cowboys more than a lifelong millennial Cowboys fan who's never experienced the joy of being good but have been hated on their entire lives. That's the fucking problem. It's not that we just lose. It's that we lose and then we have to hear about it more and more. We have to hear about it more than any other team that loses. Because here's the thing. I feel like people forget that there's like 11 there just in the playoffs, just in the playoffs. There's like a plethora of other teams that will also lose. And then in the regular season, there's a bunch more that don't even make it. But you know who we're going to hear about? The fucking Cowboys. You know what's even fucking worse? Now I have to hear these two morons and I, I have to hear these two morons talk not football, not football. LaShawn McCoy and, 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 and Joy Taylor, whatever. Now I have, I have to hear them on every, and they're going to be fucking signal boosted on every goddamn social media I get on about them talking not the not football not football because them niggas don't even talk football they just get on that fucking show to hate them niggas don't have an which sucks because because even when LaShawn McCoy was playing I fucked with LaShawn McCoy heavy but now this nigga doesn't say shit. That nigga retired and, and opened his mouth. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. He's a mental midget. I didn't know. I had no idea. He has CTE. I didn't know that. I just, who would have, I, I never knew. I didn't know that LaShawn McCoy had CTE because he fucking talks like it. There's nothing worse than being a Cowboys fan at this age. Because the last time that the Cowboys won anything, won. The last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl was the year I was born. It's gotten to the point to where I, I'm thinking, like, maybe if I kill myself, my sacrifice is what is what gives the, the Cowboys their their first Super Bowl victory in almost three decades. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe the day that I'm screaming too much. I'm choking, much like the Cowboys. It's so hard being the, being a Cowboys fan. And I and, and let let me take let me take some time real quick. Let me take some time real quick to to because I don't want people to think that I'm some fucking hater. Jordan Love, I've been watching him. Um, I've been watching him all year. That nigga balling. That nigga is balling. Been watching that man. He's made me some money on on some of my slips. I got to respect Jordan Love. I got to respect the, the, the Packers. They've been, they've been ball, but I do wonder what it feels like to be the team that has to play the Cowboys every year in the playoff to know that you did just enough to get into the playoffs. I wonder what it feels like to do that much to get into the playoffs. And then you get the Cowboys. Which is basically a first round buy. I wonder what it feels like to be a fan of the team that has to play the Cowboys, knowing that it's a free fucking win. See, that's the frustration. That's the frustration. The frustration in my fucking light just dimmed. Great. I guess everybody I guess everything in this room is just in the in the cowboy spirit. Just fucking up. Just i I'm not even gonna fix it. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, this might be one of the worst videos I've ever made quality wise because I just don't give a fuck. It's not just that you lose every year. It's that you have to hear from the likes of Stephen A. Smith, LaShawn McCoy, Joy Taylor, every everybody else on planet Earth, basically, because everybody fucking hates the Cowboys. Imagine that it. it you know, when, when Tom Brady was nutting on everybody when he was in the league and everybody fucking hated Tom Brady, at least they hated him because he won constantly. Most of us aren't, most of us aren't even gung-ho Cowboys fans. Most of us aren't even out here 
doing the belly flops and and high-fiving each other about the about the cowboys whenever they do something most of us just want to see the cowboys do well most of us just want to see the cowboys win as if as everybody else wants their their team to do everybody wants their team to win the difference is that people fucking hate us even when we lose what is that not enough is that not enough is that not enough salt in the wound is that not enough salt in the wound we lost for the 17th time in a row is that not enough you need to rub it in even more I, and I understand that like sport sports discourse is just in the shit when it comes when it comes to Twitter and just the internet in general. Honestly, sports discourse is in the shit in general. I hate sports discourse. Niggas are not talking hoops. Niggas are not talking ball. Niggas are just picking their favorite team and they're they're talking about how much they want to suck the dick of everybody that's on that team. That's what sports discourse is. And who's the most affected? The fucking Cowboys. I just want to know, like, these these Cowboys fans, these Cowboy fans every year that have the utmost faith in this team. Every year, it's the Cowboys are going to the bowl. The Cowboys are going to do it this year. Oh, the Cowboys are looking real, real dangerous this year. Every fucking year, I hear that. And I wonder to myself, what makes them so sure? What makes them so sure that they're going to the bowl this year? What what gives them this much faith? And then I found the answer. Drugs. Drugs. These niggas must be fucking high. I kind of feel like Squidward. <laughs> I kind of feel like Squidward in uh Band Geeks or in, on SpongeBob, obviously. But on the episode Band Geeks, <clears throat> where everybody just kind of like ruins his, his his uh his performance or whatever. But where do I go from here? Same place I went from last year. When our Hail Mary last play was a direct snap to Ezekiel Elliott. Nowhere. I go to bed. I go to bed. In September, when we kick off, we're going to do it all over again. We're going to do it all over again. Win 11 games. Make it to the playoffs. Everybody's high-fiving, doing the worm on the ground. Niggas is twirling in the background, just happy to be here. And then insert team name here. It's going to fuck on us. That's the life of a Cowboys fan. Congratulations to Jordan Love. I hope you go out there and win it. You deserve it. Um, fucking playing like an animal, dude. Playing like an animal. I don't even want to do my fucking outro, bro. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, bro. Uh, thanks for watching. Go Cowboys. All that shit. Whatever.